Hi ladies, this is Manat and this is your breakdown video for the new series which we're going to start on Sunday. As always, you're going to need a pair of light ankle weights in class, followed by a pair of heavy ankle weights. This week, we're going to be using a yoga block as well. If this is your first time taking the class, BTB Control, my advice to you is try without the ankle weights at first until you work up the strength and you're able to try on the light ankle weights. Here we go. We're going to start on all fours. As always, hands are directly below or underneath your shoulders and knees are directly below your hips. Our shoulders are nice and rolled. They're sliding back and down into those imaginary jeans pockets of ours. Our abs are drawn in, so not so much that we create a curve and not so loose so that we've got an arch. Somewhere in between so you're able to create a nice flat back that extends all the way from your tailbone, a nice flat spine all the way up through the neck and to the crown of the head. We're gonna start with an inverted right knee position and we're gonna draw the left knee in using those abdominals to pull the left knee in and extend the right leg fully, feet pointing down towards the ground and knees towards the ground and really reach and extend all the way to that back right corner of the room. Bring it in, left in, left knee down, extend the right leg all the way and we're back to where we started. One more time, in, down, extend, back. Same position, we go here into a nice extension. Our toes are on the ground. We're gonna lift up into plank and raise the right knee off of the mat, probably by just this much. So you're gonna hover and raise it up, lower it down with control, lift the right heel up, that leg is in extension, it's not turned out, it's down here, and return. So up, up, up. Abs are drawn in the whole time. Use the abdominals, engage them to lift that left knee off of the mat. Remember, you're pushing with your hands against the mat, so we're not here, we're here. We're nice and strong. Great. We're gonna bring that right leg forward left leg forward, squat down, left knee down, right knee lifts up, imagining that string that we talked about in class, lifting your knee. As you extend all the way back, bring it back down, and we're back to where we started. So squat, lower the left knee, reach with the right leg, pull it back in, squat. Let's do two more of these. Down. Your hands are on the mat the entire time. From here, we extend the right leg in a turned out or half turned out position. So open up that hip. So we're not here, we're here. Remember, draw everything in, zip up from the lower abdominals. In extension, we bring that right leg as far forward as we can without sinking too much. So if you're sinking here, remind yourself to bring and bring yourself back on top of that left knee. Bend the right leg to a 90 degree angle. Extend and bring it back. Bend, extend, side, bend, reach. Side, bend, reach. Reach, side, bend, reach. Very nice. Whew. All right, we're extending the right leg across now. We're sitting back. So I want you to bring that leg as far back as you can. Your hands are in front of you on the mat. Sit back. So your, your left hip is not going to touch the mat, it's just gonna hover above. As we sit back, bring that right knee towards your right elbow. So here, 
Lift, lift, lift. Land on the back and across. And across. So you should be feeling this in your left obliques and then your right waist as well as you bring the knee towards the right elbow. Very nice. From here, we balance off we balance here on the left arm. Now, it's really important that your left hand remains underneath that left shoulder and you're pushing off the mat. You're activating this entire area of the body. You're maintaining distance between your left shoulder and your left ear. Now, from here, this on its own is quite challenging. I want you to Keep that, keep that 90 degree angle in your knee and your leg, your right leg is parallel to the ground. And from here, we're just gonna swing and swing it back. So it's always staying at the same height or same level and we're trying to stay stable as much as we can on that left leg. So, if you're doing this, then you're not getting the benefit of the move. So I want you to try and stabilize as much as possible. Draw in those abdominals and bring it forward and back and across. So your toe is facing the left back corner of the room. And back and forward and back. And if this is too difficult to balance here, Grab the um, block and just try again and stabilize on that left knee. Very nice. From here, put that back. We're gonna dip. You guys should know this from last week. We're gonna dip, but we're not dipping with our knees on top of each other. This time we're crossing the working leg over the non-working leg and we're dipping and we're reaching in that open position um, across to the back left corner of the room. So it looks like this. All right. So this is what we call an attitude lift and reach. Down, across. So if you're facing forward, it looks like this. I want you to roll your shoulders down Push off the mat and think abdominals here as you lower and you lift. Very nice. Now we're gonna bring the opposite leg forward. Come into a nice deep lunge here, okay? We're usually in a similar position when we're warming up and we're doing our stretches or towards the end of the class, but this time it's gonna go a little differently. We're gonna pull the right knee in towards our chest, bring it back, Come back to your lunge and then bring it down and sit. Now, we're not resting here. It's a quick, fast move. So essentially what you are going to do is just tap that right hip on the mat and come back to starting. So this is home base. So we pull it in, back, tap, back, pull it in, back, tap the right hip down and back. One more time, in back, sit, and back. Very nice. From here, this is um, often referred to as the Russian twist position in BCV. So, right knee bent, relaxed on the mat. We're gonna really pull up and out of our torso, really think of that string that's lifting you up. Remember, shoulders don't come up, they're down, sliding back into those jeans pockets. I want you to think abdominals help you lift the right hip off the mat, extend the leg forward. So the leg isn't here and the leg isn't here. It's in front. Tap the foot down to the ground, bring it back up and sit back down. So it's, a, it's very easy in this move to get into your traps and your shoulders and kind of get really sore and tense here. So as much as you can, I want you to resist 
the shoulders coming up. Try and pull them down, be very aware. Think of pulling your neck out of your torso, keep it nice and long. And here we go again. Up, down, tap, bend, sit. Up, use this. Oops, sorry, tap, bend, down. Up, extend, tap, down, and sit. So that was the lightweight portion of the class. I'm gonna go on and put on my heavy weights right now. So, and I'm gonna show you the heavy weight portion of the class. All right, from here, now this is the part where we're gonna use the block. So with the block, I'm gonna rest it on my working side. I'm gonna bring both hands down. I'm gonna rest my knee in this half hydrant position and I'm gonna lift it up, reach back, bring it back, and I'm gonna rest it on the block for just a second. And I'm back to my reach and rest. Reach and rest, reach and rest. Next, we put our right hand on the block, we bring the block a little bit forward, and what we're gonna do is pull the knee back to reach and bring it into hydrant. Reach, hydrant, reach, hydrant, reach. From here, we're gonna cross it over and bring it in towards that right elbow. So it's very similar to what we did in our right, uh, in our lightweight portion, across, reach, careful not to sink here, abdominals are in, and then from here, we just have this, the attitude pulses, up, up, if it's too difficult to extend the leg, then just keep it in that attitude position or that 90 degree position, and all you're doing is lifting and lowering the leg, the leg doesn't lower or doesn't come down beneath, below the hip, hip height. So essentially, and I talk a lot about this in class, it's gonna look something like this. Up, bring it back here. So it doesn't come all the way down. This is the lowest it's gonna go. Up, up, up. Allow some flexibility in your spine, but not so much that you're, you're dipping, all right? Because then you can hurt your lower back. And the final move, we're gonna place the block on the side, is we're gonna come back to our pretzel or mermaid sit. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky. We practiced a little bit of this last week, so I hope you're ready. We come down, okay, without lifting any um, hips or butts off the mat. We're gonna reach up and extend that leg, reach it down, so it's a reach back, lower it down, turn around, and reach with that right leg towards the back wall or towards the back of the room in a turned out position so my leg is turned out. And I want you to feel, I want you to feel a nice pull in that inner thigh. So really reach your leg. So there's a difference between just hanging out here and really reaching forward. I want you to feel that nice pull in the inner thigh. So I'm gonna do this sideways so you guys can see. Again, I'm lifted, shoulders are down. Up, turn, and if you can do this with just the right hand on the mat, go ahead. If not, then use both hands and reach. Twist, up and reach, twist again, and reach. Very nice. Thank you guys, and I hope this helps um, you guys get a clear idea about what's coming and I'll see you next week.